Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Isabel Herman. And I'm Ida McGill. Today is Wednesday, January 26th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Auditions for our spring musical, Cinderella, are scheduled for February 1st through 3rd in the choir room from 3.30 to 6.30. Students must attend all three audition days and be available for Friday callbacks, just in case. The dates are as follows. Dance auditions are on February 1st from 3.30 to 6.30. Acting auditions are on February 2nd from 3.30 to 6.30, singing auditions on February 3rd from 3.30 to 6.30, and finally, February 4th, the callbacks are from 3.30 to 6.30. Please pick up audition packets, monologues, and song choices from Miss Demos in HE5 on Thursday or Friday after school. If you have questions about auditions, you may speak with Miss Demos in HE5, Miss Ball in the choir room, or Miss Hendricks in the dance room. Band is hosting a fundraiser today at Smashburger. Come out and show your support. Now let's pass it on over to Ashley and Paul for your In the News update. Good morning, I'm Ashley Borton. And I'm Paul Vargas, and we're here with your In the News update. Starting in 2024 for students in the U.S., the SAT will go full digital, while international students will go fully digital in 2023. Testing will take place at school with the option to use school devices or your own. For 2022, many U.S. colleges have not required the SAT and ACT scores for their admissions. The University of California system has permanently removed these tests from the admissions process in November of last year. Priscilla Rodriguez of the College Board emphasized the goal of the SAT changes, stating that the digital SAT will be easier to take, easier to give, and more relevant. Last week on Friday the 21st, an Elk Grove police officer was killed on Highway 99 during a face-on collision with Jermaine Walton. It is believed that the driver was intoxicated at the time and facing charges of a DUI, wrong way driving, and murder. This police officer is the first in line of duty death in Elk Grove history. In a statement apologizing to the officer's family, the sister of the suspect said that the family is planning on fighting the murder charge. The officer, Ty Linehan, is remembered for, fondly for his service to his community through his work and in his church. Tension between the Ukraine and Russian border have increased. Around 100,000 troops has assembled at the border. At this time, Ukraine was deciding whether or not to join NATO, the intergovernmental military alliance between countries such as the United States, the United Kingdom, France, and many other countries. In response, around 8,500 American troops have been put on heightened alert, according to the U.S. Department of Defense, and would become a part of the NATO response force if any action is taken. Since January 23rd, the travel advisory has put Ukraine on level four do not travel. The U.S. Department of State states do not travel to Ukraine due to the increased threats of Russian military action and COVID-19. Exercise increased caution in Ukraine due to crime and civil unrest. Some areas have increased risk. In the Ukraine, some areas would include Crimea, Donetsk, and Lelinsk. In Donetsk and Lelinsk, the armed conflict has led to over 14,000 deaths. Many people, including U.S. citizens, have been threatened, detained, or kidnapped. In Crimea, the U.S. has prohibited employees since emergency services are not able to be provided. That's all we have for you in the news. I'm Ashley Borton. Back to Anchors. Thanks guys. Attention students, if you still need term 3 textbooks, come to the library before or after school or at lunch. You can even go during class with a sign pass from your teacher, but if you come on your own without your class, you will need your ID card. Are you 16 years old, at least 110 pounds and healthy? If you answered yes to all of these questions, consider donating blood to the NHS Blood Drive on Thursday, February 3rd. Sign up at the NHS Blood Drive table in front of the leadership room at both lunches. Parent consent forms are due Tuesday, February 1st. CSF peer tutoring will be taking place for all subjects in the cafeteria every Thursday for the rest of the term starting February 1st. Ask your advocacy teacher during pause for a pass to the cafeteria. Now let's check out this week's lunchtime questions. Hi, I'm Gia. <laughs> and I'm Sienna. Here's your lunchtime question. <laughs> How old is the turtle crush from Finding Nemo? Probably older than me. 
I think 120. 50. Mm, probably he's probably like 21. <laughs> Not the answer. I know. Did you find the answer? Yeah. 150. Ah. <laughs> we don't have any candy. You want a fist bump? <laughs> um, who's the fashion designer in The Incredibles? Edna. Yeah. Edna. Okay. Fist bump. Good I'm done. <laughs> what is the name of Andy's neighbor in Toy Story? Is that, the, is that the one that goes crazy yeah. and all, like, destroys you, all the things? Barbecue. Nick, it, uh, Sid. Yeah. Sid! Sid! Oh, okay! Oh. Woo! It's on you now! <laughs> okay! okay. We, I'll give you an easy one. Yeah. Okay. What high school did Troy and Gabriella attend in High School Musical? What's the standard name? Um, Springfield? No. No, that doesn't work. I don't know what it is. Okay, it's East High School. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> it's Mickey Mouse! <laughs> It's so cute. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Ina McGill. And I'm Isabel Herman. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Green Juice Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.